Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on just DC TV as a whole, a couple of different things. So there has been a bunch of DC TV news that has come out over the past, you know, a couple of days roughly that I wanted to sort of, you know, uh, like compile together in one video to talk about because they're not really worth individual videos, or at least, you know, discussion wise, like length wise and all that. And this ranges from the CW side of things with DC over there, as well as over to the HBO Max side of things as well, and just certain futures surrounding those individual projects, as well as like just what will be interesting about them potentially going forward with some of them. But of course, let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions about all of them, maybe one, maybe two, up to you. I'm not going to control your fingers and what you do with your keyboard. But to start off, we know that there is one new DC show coming our way, uh, fairly soon, at least one from the CW at least, in the upcoming season of television, with that show of course being Gotham Knights. Not to be confused with the video game that is coming out sometime soon as well. Like, I mean, have fun promoting those two shows, Warner Brothers, on those two properties, not shows. See, even I'm getting confused. Now, this show has faced a lot of criticism since it was pretty much announced. Like, the premise, just from the general synopsis, didn't sound amazing and sort of had people questioning uh just questioning it and even like i think when it, was, when it was announced it was said it's not in the arrowverse so it wasn't gonna be like a spin-off from batwoman which was still on at the time and then we of course got that trailer at the i think it was the cw upfronts i think uh from a few months ago which didn't really win anyone over from what i saw at least maybe there's a sector on social media which loved it i'm not too sure but from everything i saw people either like well, people either were like, eh, not for me, or they just were losing their crap, you know, or, you know, just hated it, you know what I mean? Now, this show has attracted, you know, the attention of people who, of course, do spend too much on, you know, too much of their time online hating on things, and in this case, particularly uh, Gotham Knights. And that doesn't mean you can't critique this show. I don't think it looks good at all. I've said that before. Um, it just looks very mid-2000s. It feels like we're going back in time in the worst way possible. Felt like just felt like the effort there wasn't that great, or at least the execution, you know, wasn't that great. But this dedicated hate from certain people did lead into, as some would like to call, fake news, where a big DC fan account on Twitter said that the show had been cancelled, which was retweeted or just referenced by larger, in some case, verified accounts. So a lot of people thought it had actually been cancelled, after, I guess, maybe poor reception from the trailer or even just behind the scenes stuff at the CW where they looked at, it, looked at it and went, uh, no, I'm not the biggest fan of this. But there was one issue. Literally nothing from Warner Brothers or the CW said it was cancelled. There was actually nothing from a reputable place that said it was cancelled because, well, shocker, it wasn't. And despite some of those verified sources taking back their claims that had been cancelled saying, hey, I didn't mean to say that. I was just going off what this unverified random DC account said. I mean, there was your error, but anyway, there was still a lot of people surprised at the news from last week that the show had returned to filming following the filming of its pilot episode earlier in the year, which is where that footage that was in the trailer was taken from. Just from one pilot episode, that was it. Now, the big thing that had come out maybe like two weeks prior, so only some people knew about this because it didn't like go like a wildfire on Twitter, but the pilot for Gotham Knights filmed in Toronto or Toronto, um, I got criticized for that. You say Toronto, Toronto, but without the T at the end, whatever Toronto. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway, but it filmed in Toronto in Canada for its pilot episode, but now it's filming in Atlanta or Atlanta. I don't know which way you pronounce that one. Is there no T at the end, but it's filming in Atlanta, Georgia in America now. So it's shifted. Atlanta is where Stargirl filmed. Uh, it's first three seasons, whether it gets renewed or not is another question. We'll talk about that later in the video. And um, I think another DC show film there, something. Um, oh, Black Lightning. Black Lightning film there as well. But the news about the return to filming that came out like last week came with more questions. One of them being, are they actually reshooting the first episode or the pilot episode, as some would say? And the answer to that is, uh, well, unknown. Now, I don't think they are reshooting it personally. But for the sake of discussion, what other people are theorizing, if not some other places are actually saying, we will just question that they actually are. Now, it has been reported by some, I guess, more reliable places that the CW wasn't overly happy with the pilot episode, but happy with the overall makeup of the show going forward. Now, this was prior, you know, this was like 
maybe like a month after the trailer came out. Now, shows do refilm their pilots from time to time. It's not a new thing. Or they'll film a pilot, not be happy with it, put the show on the back burner and come back to it. It happens all the time. I brought up examples of like Big Bang Theory did it. I'm in the middle. That show that went for like almost 10 seasons or something that the people confused with Malcolm in the middle all the time. Like that, that filmed a pilot, wasn't well received. They put it on the back burner, uh, back burner and went back to it a year later and refilmed the pilot and then it became a big thing. So it happens. It happens all the time. I mean, Game of Thrones just recently filmed a pilot, scrapped it and moved on to a new show. The big thing, of course, is that you're just going to have to spend more money doing it again. And there's been this whole thing about the CW not really wanting to spend too much money, so would they do this? Now, if the redoing of the first episode or pilot episode is true, they could be doing the same rough idea or ideas that are presented in the pilot episode that was advertised in that original trailer, but, you know, just polishing it up a bit more. You know, people were critical on the sort of style and presentation, as I said before, gave off a very, like, mid-2000s vibe in not a very good way. And even things like Batman wearing his cow or mask while in a tuxedo, and that's where he dies. So people just, like, question mark that and went, like, what? Who, who, who greenlit that? Like, who greenlit that scene? So things like that might have been looked over since the filming of the pilot episode earlier in the year to this point now and going, hey, we can do better. Let's actually have another go. Now, at this point, no one on the show has actually denied or debunked the redoing of the pilot as of yet. So maybe we do hear about that soon. As I said, I personally don't think they would just because of money reasons. But then again, they might. I mean, Gotham Knights should be premiering early next year around the new seasons of The Flash and Superman Lois. So they've gone back to filming around the exact same time as those two other shows. So yeah, maybe they have time to do it. I'm not too sure. But anyway, the reception to Gotham Knights when it comes out will be very interesting. We'll at least review the pilot episode when it comes out, but very similar to like Naomi and stuff. If I don't really see a drive or hunger for me to want to continue reviewing it throughout the season, then I won't. It'll be up to the show to decide whether I do. But two minor stories to finish off the video. Uh, we'll go over the bigger one of the minor ones before we jump before we jump into the smaller of the minor ones, if that makes sense. Uh, but Stargirl renewal concern. So this is a big thing, like one of the hashtags going around sometime last week, I think it was before last episode aired, or the most recent episode aired, was renew Stargirl, like hashtag renew Stargirl, different Twitter things around that. Even like Brett Bassinger, who plays Courtney, um, tweeted about it and stuff like that. And I don't know if this is just in general, because it, it's a weird time to renew it anyway. It's only three episodes in, so it would be a weird time for them to renew it anyway. I wouldn't expect it until like at least towards the back half of the season, but it might be stemming from an interview that Amy Smart, who plays Barbara or Courtney's mom on Stargirl, and in that interview, she said that in around a month's time, they should know whether there is going to be another season. Now, that interview was about a week and a half ago or something like that. So, yeah, it's in about two and a half, three weeks or something like that would be around that time that she's referring to, which would be around the midpoint of the season. But also, uh, Breck Bassinger did say in, a, in another interview as well, I'm not too sure exactly when it was, but she said this season, the third season of Stargirl, does have a satisfying ending or conclusion if it is the final season of the show. So it could be played off as a series finale if that's the one I want to do it, but it still doesn't feel like a full-on ending. It still keeps the door open if they do get renewed. I think it still has a bit of a cliffhanger or like a, a like a, a lead-in thread to another, another season, another story, another villain, everything like that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see over the next month or so. Uh, what happens. I know Stargirl started off roughly in live ratings this season, but I think each episode uh, that it's gone on, it's gone up in viewers. And I, that's because they didn't promote the show. I mean, if you don't promote something, how are you, you going to expect people to watch live? Like, And also, people told me this, Amazon had seasons one and two come out the same time as American. So you go on Amazon Prime or Prime Video if you're in the UK, and you can watch Stargirl the exact same time as it's airing in America... They're not doing that this season. So I don't know whether that's Amazon's fault, whether it's Warner Brothers' fault, I'm not too sure. But that has annoyed a lot of people and it's sort of, they can't watch the show. So yeah, that's a bit of a struggle. But the final thing to talk about is about some movie stuff that leads into some TV stuff revolving around HBO Max. So the most random news ever that I never thought would see is that they announced a sequel to the 2005 Constantine movie starring or that starred Keanu Reeves and that he'll star in again in this sequel with a lot of the original people behind that original movie from 2005 returning and this does include J.J. Abrams being a producer on it however because of that 
this has actually ended the HBO Max show. That's what's being said. Um, and now that being that, uh, I think it's like uh, Dope Siyuru or something like that. I can't remember what the guy's name was, but he was heavily rumored um, to be the guy playing Constantine in this HBO Max show. I think even he tweeted or like hinted at it on Twitter as well. Um, but apparently that means that show is dead on HBO Max at the very least. So HBO Max is canceling any plans to use that show on their streaming service and make it, as well as any other shows or spinoffs connected to it, like Madame Xanadu. Um, I think they were going to call that show Madame X, but it's Madame Xanadu or Madame Xanadu, whichever way you want to put it. However, those two shows, as well as any other, I guess, planned uh, like spinoff shows, could be resurrected by other services, like a Netflix or something like that. The Sandman was very, very popular on Netflix. So I think Netflix, uh, Netflix sorry, would look at this and go, well, hey, you know, this sort of fits into like sort of like that Sandman thing, that style, that tone, uh, that genre and stuff like that. So I could see Netflix maybe having a go at it, but HBO Max wants nothing to do with it. And it makes me wonder whether it was a cost thing. Um, and I'm going to say it was probably a cost thing. So yeah, I, it was weird because there was so much like talk around that for a while. And now just quickly just being shoved out the back door, apparently f in favor of a sequel that I don't think was really needed. I mean, I like Keanu Reeves. I'm not the biggest fan of his Constantine movie, but I mean, maybe, maybe it'll be good. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like on the show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions about everything we went over in this video. Very curious to hear what you guys have to say. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.